Hello everyone, my name is Camo and welcome back to the Nerdcraft server. Today is episode 4 and we're starting things off here in our little starter base which we finished last time. As you can see, a few things have actually popped up including a chest, a statue, and a set of coordinates which we'll be investigating later in the episode. I'm not sure where they are, but I know they're up north in the jungle. They're over here. We've got It's like a protester? Parrots have rights. Don't abuse them or kill them. Yes, I agree 100%. Parrots have rights and now we have diamonds. I'm not sure why someone gave us two diamond blocks just for a protest sign, but hey, I'll take it. I will absolutely take it. But of course, this wood is hard to destroy. Which reminds me, we need an axe. We need to upgrade some tools. Uh, last episode, uh, I don't know, was it in between episodes? Last episode, sometime, we actually broke our helmet and bought a new pair of leggings, which are good, and we can also add Depth Strider. I know we have a book somewhere of Depth Strider, to add to our boots, because at the moment, uh, walking through water is really quite a pain. Another thing, we also want a breaking three. Yeah, we, we haven't broken on all the stuff. Now we just need a good helmet. But also, 18 diamonds. 18 diamonds! For just a little gag in a base. I love it. Now I'm wondering what this is up top, so grab some terracotta. Let's see if we can read these signs. What does it say? Hope you enjoyed the item frames. Oh yeah, the that's it. The item frames all over my base were broken. What's that? Totally not me, Ice Blade. Oh, really, Ice? Damn. That's annoying. He came around and uh, <laughs> spun all my item frames around and messed them all up. That was very, very annoying. But what's in the chest? Oh, yes, lapis. That's awesome. We need tons of lapis for our base because we're actually going to be using the color blue quite a bit. And I don't particularly want to build a cornflower farm but I feel like we might have to sometime in the future. So if you guys remember from last episode, we went on a mining trip and got a whole bunch of diamonds. Now we can add this to our wonderful growing little pile here. Uh, okay. Hi. <laughs> Someone just logged in in my base. Well, that's odd. Ooh, and there's a spider coming our way. Nope. Actually, that's a... That is something. Look, we're getting tons of mobs. Just flocking into our base. Why? Why are there so many mobs here in the mesa? That's annoying. Which makes me think today we definitely need to start building up our door. Because at the moment I was planning on just making a single wooden door here and that would be pretty boring. So what I'm going to do is get some redstone materials and we'll see if we can make a cool piston door here. Alright, so I've laid out the rough area where our pistons are going. And now I've just got to fill all this in with the redstone components and whatnot, and then we should have a functioning door. And just like that, we've got a wonderful little door working. So when you press the button, the blocks get moved up, and then it opens up. You wait a second, and it automatically closes. Now I had to get a bit janky with the redstone, uh, seeing putting some stuff up here, kind of throwing it around wherever I could really fit it. But we're actually really tight on space over here. And I had to leave this area semi-exposed, which I don't like. But I guess we're just going to have to live with it. After all, this is only a starter base, so nothing here is permanent. And here on the outside, it's looking it's looking really weird. And it's annoying that it's only two blocks tall. Except I don't want to have to make a triple extender and go crazy with super high redstone or slime blocks. Because that just gets annoying. And we run inside. And it closes up. Perfect. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And now, the next thing we've got to do is find out where these coordinates are at. And we're off, leaving our base behind to go to 810, negative 3094, wherever that may be. So here we are, and I think this is the spot. Let's see. 810, 810, negative 3094. This is absolutely the spot. Now, what is it? It looks like Hermit Challenges. And I'd imagine that's what it is. I see the fire there. Some dispensers and paper. And an anvil. This is definitely, definitely going to be Nodecraft challenges. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure who owns this. So I'll put out a message on our Discord to see who owns it. And if someone can come give me a challenge. But I am so excited to start doing these uh, hermit challenges. I almost said hermit challenges. Nodecraft challenges, I guess they are now. And I'm not sure how we get initialized. I think it's the same. You throw the paper into the fire and then do parkour? I don't know. We'll figure it out eventually. But for now, 
I've got something that we definitely have to do. So last episode, we were on a big old mining trip, and we got a ton of uh, redstone ore. And I mean, it's not just redstone ore. We got a bunch of other stuff as well. But I'm going to take that redstone ore, break it all down with my fortune pick, and then we're actually going to start building a redstone shop. Because as it stands, the only redstone shop is Kira's Redstone Emporium, and the stuff there I find is a bit overpriced. So we're going to try and make a discount redstone shop where you buy in bulk. Before we do any of that, I actually want to set up a super smelter, or just a mini one with two furnaces, because we got a lot of uh, iron and gold ore that I want to smelt up and just get processed, because this is going to take quite a while. So I'm going to make a miniature smelter, and then we can throw that on the back burner while we work. And with that chugging away, smelting up all our gold and iron, we're ready to get all this redstone and lapis uh, mined up with our fortune pick. Because we are going to need a ton of redstone dust and redstone blocks to be selling. So I'm going to come over here and just start making a gigantic block right in the middle that we can mine down from. And with that all placed down, it's time to get mining it with our fortune pickaxe. Let the time lapse commence. And just like that, we got a bunch of redstone and a little bit of lapis, which is quite nice. Now, I'm going to take our lapis, actually, and dump it in the back here, because this is kind of where we've been keeping it, and I kinda, I'm kind of i going to keep it nice and sorted, you know? And while we were at it, I swapped out our furnaces here for blast furnaces to speed stuff up a little bit, because it was getting quite slow with the server lag. But now, we can take all this redstone we got and start building us a little shop. Now, I've got a rough idea in mind. I want to build a sort of steampunk engineer's looking shop, which actually kind of suits my glasses, the steampunk style, but I don't know if we'll have the resources to build it. And just like that, we've got three stacks of repeaters. Now, that isn't a whole lot, actually. I was kind of hoping we could stock this shop up a lot and sell maybe, I don't know, 16 repeaters for a diamond. Is that a fair price, 16? Maybe that's a bit too expensive. Maybe 32 for a diamond. I can't really decide yet. But I want to get at least three stacks of each item. So next, we're going to do comparators. And considering that we only have... Do we have any quartz? No, we don't have any quartz there. We might have some quartz here. 45. So I'm going to head to the nether real quick, get a whole bunch of quartz, and I'll see you guys when we get back. No, 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 yes, got a skull, second head, hey, third head, should I stop now? Yeah, I should stop now. I'll just focus on uh, on actually getting the quartz I came here for. And with that, we got ourselves a whole bunch of quartz and a few nether goodies, including three wither skeleton skulls. 
So I'm thinking either this episode or next episode, we start fighting a wither and get ourselves a beacon. That would be really, really handy to have in episode four or five. And we also got some gas here, so I'm thinking we might want to try resummoning the dragon. Have a dragon fight, that'd be cool. Even if we can't get the egg that's already been taken, a dragon fight would be a lot of fun. Well, that redstone didn't go too far. We only have six stacks of comparators and six stacks of repeaters. And with a little bit of redstone left over. But of course, we're also going to be selling redstone, so we can't use it all up. Now, we just got to get a bunch more redstone. I guess we got to go mining again. And we've also got to get pistons, sticky pistons, chests. I'd like to get barrels and hoppers as well. And then, of course, droppers, dispensers, observers. Uh, we've got a long way to go, nonetheless. But either way, I want to actually build the shop. Maybe not stock it yet, because we've got a long way to go on that front. But I want to physically have a structure there that we can stock in the future episodes. So I just heard back on Discord, and apparently this is the perfect time to go to these coordinates, and there should be a little something waiting there for us. So let's fly back over there and see what there is. And we should be getting close. There it is. And who's this? It's Ish. How you doing? Hello. Hello, hello. hello there. Um, you, you know what this is. You know I do know is. what this is. Or at least I think I know what this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got your little message. Come to these courts. Yep. All right, so yeah. what do we do? Um, pick a side, you get pick a side? piece of paper. Well, actually, actually. Put them back, put them back. Oh. Initiation. Initiation, yes. Initiation, yeah. Um, there's a little parkour that you have to do. I, I hope you can... Uh, I have to do parkour. Uh, I'm gonna, you start here. Ooh, on camera? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Okay, let's try it. Alright, off to a good start. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm rooting for you. You can do this. I don't think I can. And after many, many failed attempts... Ooh, that took a while. Alright. So what do we do next? Ring the bell. Am I initiated? Yes, initiated. Uh, no crash yes. challenges. Yay. Yay. So, Alright. I'm using that from here. And, and I'm stuck. Okay. So what do we do now? Now you can pick your uh, three pieces of paper. Alrighty. And uh, just go over here and uh, name them different uh, challenges. So, okay. Okay, I've got my three. So I have my three now. Okay. Uh, um, put them in the droppers. Put them in the, I'm in the dispenser. Ooh, okay. Who goes first? Uh, yours. Do that. Yeah, they're in. Yeah, uh, you can go first. Okay. Boop. Let's see, what do we get? Do good things. Okay. I'll take that. And... Boy. Make a better spawn area. <laughs> <laughs> oh... Uh, looking at the other two, you're probably lucky you got that one. Ten thousand trees fly to why ten thousand? Ooh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you should. Uh, I, I mean, look at the other ones. They're they're not that bad. Wear okay. a funny hat and get thirty diamond blocks. Ooh, I like the second one. Yeah. Do we throw them in the fire? So, I'd imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yes. And there, yeah. There we go. So, the craft challenges. Yay. <laughs> craft challenges, yay. Yay. Initiation, yay. Alrighty, well, I guess yay. I'll see you around. Yeah, see you. Well, that sure was interesting. We've got a challenge to do now. Do good things. I guess that could be our very first thing to do on the to-do list. And there we go. Do good things. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but... I guess we just got to go around and do good deeds for people. Maybe give free stuff. I like giving free stuff. I've gotten a lot of free stuff, and I think it, it does make a lot of sense that we should probably be giving back around now. Except right now, that's not the time for that. We've got to take all that redstone stuff that we made and start building us a little shop in the shopping district. 
So I found a design that I really like. It's an airship, but instead of having the big balloon on top and then the ship on the bottom, it kind of encapsulates the ship in the main area with these wheels that look like they drive the ship and then big white canvas fins coming off the front and back of it. And of course a little one underneath. And I think this will be fitting more to our redstone style that we got going. It's not so much like the traditional airship that you'd find, except it still holds that steampunk style that I really like and want to go with for a shop here. And another good thing is that the color it, colors of it are all saturated, so we can use terracotta, which is one of our main resources that we have an absolute abundance of over here in our mesa. So I'm going to gather up a whole bunch of that, and I'll see you guys when we've got enough. So I've just been out, and I mined up a bunch of brown, red, white, and normal terracotta. Now, I'm not sure if this will be enough, and I'm pretty sure it won't be enough brown, but I'm going to get started over in the shopping district, and we'll see how far we can get with the resources we've gathered so far. So I found us a great spot here in the shopping district, next to the slime shop and the beacon, and I've set up a little bit of scaffolding. So I'm not really sure how this is going to go. I've not built any models of this yet, so let's see how it goes. You probably saw my secondary account in the background there. That's because I was taking a time lapse of the entire build. But unfortunately, I didn't realize until around three quarters of the way in that it didn't actually save any of the video. So I've started here making some of the rough framework for our ship. And I think it looks pretty good so far. I like the shape of it. Uh, especially it look good when we have the big fins coming off the back. And I, don't, I know you don't really know what I'm talking about right now, but it'll all be clear later once I've built it all. But at the moment, this is all the brown terracotta that we managed to mine up. And it didn't exactly go very far. It's not even halfway done. So I'm going to go back to the mesa, get a whole load more, probably another entire full shulker box, and then I'll see you guys when we're back. So I gathered up another shulker box full of concrete and finished up this side of the ship. And I'm pretty happy with the shape. I lowered this down by one block over here and also smoothed out this area a little bit more. I think it looks pretty good. I feel like I also might want to... Hmm. Can we land real quick? I want to add a bit more of this support structure to the front. I don't think we'll be able to land, will we? We only have three rockets. No! Okay. Well, I'm going to fix this up real quick and do the other side, and then I'll see you guys when we're done that. And while it is 1.30 in the morning, we finally finished the other side of this build. So each side is perfectly symmetrical. There you go. It actually looks pretty good. Uh, the shape does look a little bit weird from this angle without any extra details, except I will be adding some more stuff around the edges and around the top. That will smooth it out. I'm also thinking, now looking back at the front of it, I really don't like the sort of peak I made like that. I kind of want to round it off a bit more there. So I'll do that, and I'll be back in just a second. And yet another little check-in thing it is now 2.30 in the morning, and I just finished up making this top fit and adding in some of the sail supports underneath and one on top. Now it's really starting to come together just the way I wanted it. Oh, cool. That was a cool shot of the light. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is fix up the top of the antennae up here and then do the uh, sail supports, the red beams that will be going around it. Oh, I just realized my skin is also wrong. Oh, I can't wait till Bedrock fixes that. Hopefully in 116, that will all get fixed up. And then in between here, we'll have sails strung back and forth, and then I'll also have a sail coming up top here, and then hopefully also around the back along here. So I'm going to get right to it, and hopefully we can finish it by, I'd say, maybe 5 a.m., I think, if we're staying up all night and doing this. Yeah, it should be done by around 5. Wow, that took forever to complete. Now that I've added in all the sails, finished up the decorations, expanded the back, and added the wheels on the side, this is finally coming together, and I gotta say, it looks amazing. It's way better than I planned out in my head. I especially love the way these sails came out. They look so organic. Maybe this top one needs a little bit more refinement there, add a bit of a curve to it, and knock down that hard edge there. But these ones, I love them so, so much. It's such a pretty build. And I love the way this front slopes up just a little bit. It's not nothing major, just a little bit. Gives it a perfect little effect. Makes it look like a submarine a bit more. But either way, I'm ranting on. 
It's 5.20 in the morning, and I am so tired. I haven't slept all night. I've been working on this ship. So I will see you guys when I wake up. When I finished this build-up this morning, I thought it was just good. And now coming back later today, it's actually amazing. It really does stand out and make an impact on the shopping district. And I'm thinking it's so big, instead of just selling redstone, we could fill this with all kinds of different items and make it like an entire shopping mall within the ship. Now, that'll have to wait for next episode, however, because it's getting really late now. It's already Sunday, and I've not released the episode yet. But next time, we'll make the inside of it. We'll fill it up with all the items we need and plan out what we're going to be selling. And of course, make an entrance. I'm thinking right around here, we could have a ladder, rope ladder coming down. I'm not really sure, though. But unfortunately, that's all I've got time for today. So if you guys liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you really loved it, maybe consider subscribing. But anyway, guys, this has been Camo, and I'm out. I'll see you in the next one.